her. And I could have hurt his feelings another way, but no, nah, that's not how I, no, nah, he hit below the belt, so I hit below his belt. That's just how we are as motherfucking people. When Masika called them bitches black beasts, she wasn't talking about every black fucking woman. If y'all cancel everybody, who the fuck we gonna have? If y'all cancel everybody for one mistake, who the fuck we gonna have? Y'all ain't got no fucking platforms, but y'all keep trying to cancel everybody with a fucking platform. That shit is trash. When y'all the ones that built us up, <laughs> but y'all the people, y'all my people. What is you talking about? Why every time I say something or anybody say something that y'all don't agree with, y'all straight man, you cancel. Why you give up? Why the fuck do y'all give up on, on y'all own so fast? Hey, why y'all always doing that? Why y'all always canceling y'all own people? Oh my god! <laughs> wow, yo, just just hilarious, man. And I, it's crazy because I interviewed her like maybe three, four years ago on my podcast. We interviewed her. She was like twenty four at the time. She's younger. She's like two, three years younger than me, but she pushing thirty. And. I don't know if she on Trina payroll, so she's going hard because she feels like between Trina and the Shekinah girl and whoever else in between, everyone's canceling everybody, right? Because they're saying stupid shit or they're saying coon shit or they sell out shit. And me, I per I've never really supported co cancel culture. I don't. You never hear me say cancel anybody. I don't cancel people. I'm not Nino Brown. I could never cancel you. You know what I mean? Because most of these people that I'm calling out or we've called out. I don't fuck with them anyway. I don't have to cancel Trina because I wasn't fucking with Trina like that. I always thought she looked good, especially back then. But I wasn't, you know what I mean? I wasn't no fan. And Shekinah, who the fuck is that anyway? You know what I mean? These are not people that I have a, an attachment to. You know, and Jess Hilarious is sitting there telling us we got to stop. Y'all need to stop canceling black folks for one mistake. I don't think that was a mistake. These are people telling the truth and how they really feel. And then when the backlash comes and it's turmoil that's when they apologize so that's that's it's, these are not mistakes these are just people showing you their true characters it looks like jess is trying to is trying to like save black celebrity because it looks like black celebrity is like falling out and there's somebody i watch tone talks he does a video about the decking and veil you know about black celebrities the downfall and, you know and it, she, it seems like she's trying to be a black celebrity she ain't got there yet but she's trying to get there and it might be all over before the fucking time she do. It's like she's trying to save what's left of black celebrity. You know, a lot of black celebrities are walking on eggshells right now. The best thing they could do is either go out to a protest with a mask on and take a photo op. Some of them, we know that's what y'all doing. Some of them are going to these protests just to take photo ops and then they get in their car and leave. We get into that another fucking time. Some of them really out there with the people. But, um, you know, the best thing you could do right now, donate something, go to one of these protests, or just keep your fucking mouth shut. Because a lot of them are getting quote-unquote canceled left and right. Uh, I don't think a lot of people really mean it when they say it. It's just they rolling with the times. There's a lot of folks have been canceled in the past. And they put out successful things in the future. A couple of years later, people forget. Because black people have been programmed to forget and forgive. So I don't even know why you take it that serious when people say cancel. People can say cancel Beyonce. Are they really going to do it? I doubt it. But... The, the 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 mystique about black celebrity and the, and all of that it is starting to slow down, you know, and that scares a lot of them. They might a lot of them probably like that video when she posted it because they feel that way. Black folks, the black celebrities are, are, are starting to lose some of their grip on society. Uh, you could blame it on social media because, like I say, now you don't even feel like they're really big stars because you can add these people, you can talk to them, they might respond. They respond more to negativity than positivity, so. You know, you don't have that mystique that was there anymore. You know, so that could be it. But she, you know, she she comes off ignorant. She's yelling and fussing. She's from Baltimore. Shout out to be more. And I love those accents. They be dragging their vows. She be like you and all that shit. But she one of them. You know what I mean? She 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 ratchet. She one of them. You know what I mean? She, <laughs> I was bugged out because she talk talking about nobody has a platform. Y'all have no platform. Why rip someone who has a platform? I mean, unless she's talking about Trina on her radio show, which Trina does not own the station. She works for a station in, in, in Miami. What are you talking about platform? People do have a platform now. It's called social media. 
you're using it as, as a matter of fact. Rather, it's YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Everyone got TikTok. Everyone got a fucking platform now. You know what I mean? Some people are more influential on their platforms than some of these so-called celebs. She shouldn't be the one talking because she used one of these platforms to become a, a, a semi-star, whatever you want to call her, an internet star. She used Instagram and, and went viral, Vine Instagram, and that's how she got her rank up. Started doing stand-up in, in the city and, you know, then wilding out. And then she had a thing with Corey Holcomb. She had posted that picture of her. She was butt naked with her son on her fucking lap. And that was like a viral moment. To me, I always thought that was just intentional, trying to get attention. It worked. Corey was the only one who responded, and, and Corey let her have it. You know, told her he'd give her a couple dollars and a piece of chicken. You know, and it went from there. And then she, she did the show with uh, she did. I think she did a movie. She did an appearance in a movie. I think I can't remember. And then she did Little Rail Howie show on Fox. Knew it wasn't gonna do shit because just it was on Fox, and it was Little Rail Howie. She was the best friend, and Sinbad was the father. And yeah, that shit. It might it might have had six episodes, and they pulled the plug. But you know, God bless her. You know what I'm saying? Good luck to her and her her career, but. It sounds like she's trying to save black celebrity. <laughs> black celebrity is, is losing their grips on the culture, and she seems to be threatened by it. You know, you can vouch for Trina and all these people all you want. You know, it ain't about them making mistakes. You know, these people just say stupid shit that they really believe. It's no different than the Drew Brees thing. He don't Just because he apologized doesn't mean he doesn't mean what he said. He still means that. He's still passionate about that. He just was sorry about the backlash and the instant, you know, the the backlash that that it caused. You know, he wasn't insensitive enough or whatever. But these people ain't making mistakes. They just showing you their true fucking colors.